You can see on the left side of the screen we did away with the idea of shooting the laser across the water and went with the idea on the right side which was to have the camera zoom in and try to see the laser. This way we could be right at the seashore and we thought this was a better idea. So then came the next night and we planned on doing the retest. This time we had the cameraman stay in the same position at the Pacific Grove uh, Lover's Point side and we went to the Sand City Message Hill shore side. Uh, we took with us the laser and a poster board so that we could stand that upright and we marked on the poster board different heights from 6 inches, 12 inches, 18 inches, uh, all the way up to two and a half feet. And we also uh, reformulated our hypothesis. We had also changed the math to take the four miles down to three, just to give us that little cushion and uh, lean it towards the globe side. So instead of the 10 feet curvature, we were now looking for six feet curvature with a three mile span, which was actually four miles. The new hypothesis stated that if the Earth is a globe or a sphere with a circumference of 24,901 miles, then at a distance at sea level of four miles, a camera at three foot high should not see anything below three foot on the opposite shore. So the cameraman set up his camera at sea level. The height of the tripod was 30 inches. The height of the camera was about five inches. So that gives us 35 inches, almost three feet uh, on the shooting side. You can see there. And then what he was doing is zooming in and attempting to find us uh, at the shore in the seaside. Sorry, in Sand City. Okay. So we're going to get down here as close as we can without getting die down wave. You can call him and see if he sees us, or I'll just sign the laser, we'll sign it to the ground or something. Yeah. I'll look for you to laser. Okay. And I'll call him. Okay, call him and then tell him to watch me. Yeah, I showed him. Now for me, and I know I tell you guys to not believe me, so do your own tests, but uh, this test was definitely definitive. Uh, four miles and there's just no way that there is a 10 foot curve. It just isn't there, doesn't exist. Uh, I'm at the most two feet above sea level, that's maximum. Um, and I get all the way down right to sea level. Uh, Patrick is 30 inches above and he gets down uh, to a little less than that. And uh, he sees the laser with no issue, unless I shine it right on the ground, which, how would he see that? And if we add in the three-foot waves that you can clearly see, well, that says that there's no curve, no way. So I'm really thrilled about the next one. Um, we are doing 13.25 feet. And uh, I think that that, keeping it kind of quiet where it's going to be and... Uh, when it's going to be, just because I think that could be uh, something they don't want to get out, is that that's supposed to be a 100-foot drop, and it won't be there. And uh, you may call that being one-sided, but 
I've been doing these tests and looking at everything else and I can't help it if nothing shows globe. What can I do? I'm down at six. I'm down at six inches. So everybody can see that. And there's a little lower. Uh, it's a little lower. It's at six inches. Yeah, right there. Um, I think you're at sea level. I'm Shine it towards, shine it towards me. I'm right up, I'm right up to the water's edge. Right up to the water's edge. Uh, it's, uh, it's below my waist. It's right at crotch level. It's higher, higher than my waist. Higher than my waist. Uh, not really. That's about as low as I can get. measure when I get back to my office. I'm still recording. See the Everybody, so Patrick says he can see fully. He zoomed in and he can see the full laser. And we're, those waves are pretty high too, so. Yeah, I'm going to try and move a little closer again. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure we're going to match up the, uh, the footage. Ready? Yes. Yeah. So we're even lower. Holy 
guys. I'm probably making these guys sick. So, the results are all but conclusive. May not be 100%, but next time they will be. Uh, next test will be this week, and we are going out to a distance of 13.25 miles. And that will be a result that will not be able to be hid from. Uh, even with both parties standing completely straight up tall with no worries, camera on the tripod, um, no worries about the swells, no worries about the waves, we will zoom in with a camera and a video camera and attempt to see the laser um, against that white backboard again at about chest high, so maybe 5 feet high. At 13.25 miles, the drop of the earth should be, would be, could be, uh, about 100 feet. So, I want to hear some uh, of the reasons already that this is going to be argued about. But, as I said, with both parties at 7 to 8 feet, um, as far as their elevation to sea level, uh, that still gives us uh, 16, you know, 84 feet to play with. Uh, there's no way that that will be the amount of curvature between those two locations. So we think this is the measurement that the globe defenders will cry over. Of course, we have changed our hypothesis to now include the new distance of 13.25 feet, which should yield us a 100-foot curve. And we have marked our new locations, so we're scheduling that for this week so we can get that done and put it in the books, as they say. So, I'm not sure about you guys, but this was pretty definitive to me. 